Another question that we have posed to us is one of our uh, eight most often asked questions uh, regards uh, Hillary and health care. And this one comes to us from Tom Herzog. And the question is this. What is your opinion of Mrs. Clinton's health care plan and what are the, some of the specifics of your plan? Well, first of all, let's analyze uh, some of the aspects of uh, the plan that Hillary Clinton has put forth. Know this, it will require a huge tax increase. It's estimated that it would cost well over $110 billion. And we've got to remember that the focus of it is coverage. Now, coverage is a wonderful goal, but if we have coverage, but we don't change the basic dynamics of health, all we do is exacerbate what is already the real problem in the healthcare system. It's that we focus on waiting until people are catastrophically ill and then spending money at the intervention level rather than trying to focus on the prevention level where we could avoid these incredibly huge costs. Let me put it in perspective. Almost 80% of all of our healthcare expenditures are spent on chronic disease, disease that is either preventable or curable and largely caused by three basic behaviors, overeating, under-exercising, and smoking. So what we have really is not a health care crisis. We have a health crisis. And it's the health crisis that's driving most of the $2 trillion a year that we currently spend in our system. We spend more on health care in this country than anybody else on earth does. Almost 17% of our gross domestic product. Now let's compare that with anybody else. Switzerland spends 10.5% of their GDP on health care. What if we spent less than we do now, but still more than anyone else? Let's go with the number 11%. That's more than Switzerland, more than anyone else in the world, but less than the 17% we spend now. If we were doing that, we would save $700 billion a year. So how can we do that? Well, it's not by just saying, okay, everybody can have all the coverage they want. Someone has suggested that if we had grocery insurance and you could get all the groceries you wanted based on your insurance, what would you buy? You would buy the most expensive items in the store. You would go in the store. You would load your cart up with any and everything you could because you could. Even if you got home and decided you couldn't eat all that stuff, it'd go to rot. But the point is, you would end up filling your cart with things just because it was covered. Hillary's plan is like asking unhealthy people to go into the health care store and load up their carts. Who's going to pay for it? You are. There's got to be a better approach, and here's that approach. The approach is to turn the system right side up from its current position of upside down. Put the focus on prevention. Don't empower the government. Don't let your doctor work for the government. But by the same token, to some of my Republican brethren, don't let the doctor work for the insurance company either. Have the doctor work for you. You should be empowered to pick your doctor and to base the decisions based on not only the quantity of care but the quality of care. Then the coverage should be portable to you. And you should be able to have control uh, more about what you're going to spend and adjust the cost according to the specific needs. 15% of America's population uses 85% of all the health care resources we have. So as I said before, it's not a health care crisis we have. It's a health crisis.